Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Panar and today's presentation is on the topic of treating glaucoma with Rho associated protein kinase inhibitors. We will explore the usual functions of the eye and how impaired cells can lead to the physiological disease glaucoma. It will also be explored how these new inhibitors work in a novel method to treat glaucoma. The eye is a critical sensory organ that allows for humans to interpret their surroundings. It is a delicate organ comprised of highly specialized cells and tissues that work in conjunction with each other. This organ can translate stimuli into an electrical signal and transmit it to the appropriate section of the brain. The first significant tissue in the eye is the ciliary process. These tissues contain blood capillaries that secrete the aqueous humor into the anterior and posterior segments of the eye. The importance of the aqueous humor will be discussed later in the presentation. Another piece of tissue of similar importance is the trabecular meshwork. It is responsible for draining the aqueous humor out of the eye after a set period of time. The fluid drains into the scleral venous sinus, known as the canal of Schlem. Now the optic nerve, which is located towards the posterior side of the eye, is one of the most critical parts of the organ. Known also as the cranial nerve 2, it is composed of specialized neurons that conduct signals generated by the eye to the brain for interpretation. As previously alluded to in the presentation, the aqueous humor plays an essential role in the function and maintenance of the eye. The most significant effect is that it maintains the intraocular pressure of the eye, which helps retain the shape and control the refractive index, both of which are necessary for the eye to correctly interpret images. In addition, the humor contains nutrients, ascorbic acids, and immunoglobulins to protect and sustain the cell. However, when cells in the organ begin to behave in faulty manners, it can create problems. One such condition is the physiological disease known as glaucoma. Glaucoma is characterized by the increased intraocular pressure within the eye, resulting from various causes. Most commonly, the disorder stems from two possible causes that result from faulty cells in the eye. One is the overproduction and secretion of the aqueous humor by the ciliary process. The rate of secretion is greater than the rate of drainage from the eye, and this therefore raises the intraocular pressure. The second cause is the blockage of outflow or drainage channels resulting in a buildup of aqueous humor. Without a steady drain of the fluid, the intraocular pressure increases to harmful levels. People who experience glaucoma are generally symptom-free until they reach more severe levels. As the pressure increases, those affected will begin to notice their visual field deteriorating with progressive dimming around the edge of their vision. This is a result of the increased pressure on the optic nerve, which disrupts the tissue's ability to accurately conduct the electrical signals to the brain. If pressure continues to increase, the optic nerve will eventually begin to experience damage. This damage can result in the permanent loss of vision as the nerve damage sustained can limit its ability to conduct signals. Traditionally, glaucoma is treated with medications such as prostaglandin analogs and adrenergic receptor agonists that reduce intraocular pressure by relaxing smooth muscles. Another option for patients is surgery and laser, both of which drain the excess liquid and clear the blockage at the canal of Schlem. However, in the last few years, a new method to manage glaucoma has been discovered with a novel solution. Rho associated protein kinase inhibitors, otherwise known as ROC inhibitors, counteract the symptoms of glaucoma in a unique way. ROC inhibitors exert their effect on the eye by inhibiting the function of the protein. The protein's role is to produce actin filaments for stabilizing cell structures and promoting cellular contractility. 
The protein inhibitors perfuse directly into the trabecular meshwork, which is the drainage point of humor from the eye. This fact differentiates ROC inhibitors from other glaucoma drugs as no others have this target site. ROC inhibitors also increase retinal blood flow by relaxing vascular smooth muscle cells, directly protecting neurons against various stresses or promoting wound healing. These additional effects may help slow progressing visual field loss in some patients. The combination of these factors decreases the intraocular pressure and protects the optic nerve. The discovery of how ROC inhibitors mitigate the impact of glaucoma opens up avenues for future solutions. Because the inhibitors target the trabecular meshwork, which is novel, it highlights how further understanding can lead to innovation. To summarize, intraocular pressure is maintained by balancing concentrations of aqueous humor. When this balance is disrupted due to the impairment of cells, Pressure can increase, damaging the optic nerve, resulting in glaucoma. ROC inhibitors decrease the intraocular pressure by targeting the trabecular meshwork, which controls the outflow of humor.